All right, everybody, welcome back to the number one television show in the history of the world. I am Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, The Blackest Heart, and The Lonesome Crown. All three books published by Simon & Schuster's Saga Press. Today I'm going to be showing you, well, going over, reviewing, mentioning all of the books that I read in January of 2023. I'll admit, this is the most I've read in a month ever. I mean, I guess I just had nothing else to do at all but read in January of 2023, because I read 24 books in January of 2023. Anyway, I got nothing going on, folks. Nothing. Nothing going on in my life to the tune of 24 books in one month. Not just any books, but some of these are massively big books. So let's just get to it. What 24 novels did I read in January 2023? Well, we'll start out with book number three in Tad Williams' Shadow March series, and that is Shadow Rise. Love Tad Williams. He's one of my favorite writers. We may or may not see another Tad Williams book come up on this shelf. But anyway, the next book I read in 2023 of uh, January, I guess I, I guess I should just think of this as I got off to a really good start to the year. That's the way I should think of it. John Le Carre's The Looking Glass War. Read that one. We also read... Book number three in Peter F. Hamilton's great science fiction series, The Salvation Series. This one is Saints of Salvation. Read that one. By the way, I've also not only did I read all of these books in January of 2023, but I left a YouTube review of all of these books. So if you want to see the review for any one of these books, just type in the title of the book, my last name, into the YouTube search bar, and I promise you that the video will magically appear upon your screen. All right. I read Bentley Little's great horror novel, The Ignored. Okay, another Tad Williams book. I read book number four in the Shadow March series, and this one is Shadow Heart. So we finished out a Tad Williams four-book series in uh, January 2023. Next, I read The Lonesome Gods by Louis L'Amour. The only Western I read this month. Then I read <laughs> A Feast for Crows. <laughs> now, this one actually took like five days. I don't know where I found time for the rest of them. <laughs> Feast for Crows. Great book, great series, love it. I read Stephen King's The Wind Through the Keyhole. This is sort of his prequel slash sequel to the Dark Tower series. Probably my least favorite book I read this year actually was this one. This, yeah, this year in January. To the, my least favorite book, January 2023 probably. Then we read A Great Murder Mystery by William Kent Kruger, The Boundary Waters, like that. We finished off The Pridane Chronicles by reading Book 5, the final volume in The Pridane Chronicles, and it is The High King. Read that one. And then we, then we did three Alaskan mystery novels in a row. I think I read these in two days total, so a book and a half a day, but they're smaller mystery novels. Um, we read The Curious Eat Themselves. This is book number two in John Straley's Cecil Younger mystery series set up in uh, Sitka, Alaska. And then we read uh, Shaman Pass. This is Stan Jones. Book number two in his Nathan Active series. This is a book series about Alaska mystery set up on the far, far northwest coast of Alaska. And then we did um, 
I don't know why I'm putting these backwards. We should put them spine out. Let's do that. Let's twist them. There, then you, now you can see what I, I, I've been up to here. Uh, then we read uh, A Cold-Blooded Business, Dana Stabenow, her Kate Shugak mystery. This is book number four. It says so right there for in her Kate Shugak Alaskan mystery series. And then I read a great urban fantasy by Charles DeLint, and it is Widdershins. Probably maybe my favorite read of the month. <laughs> we did Matameo, book number three in the Redwall series. Probably one of my better, not one of my favorite books I read this month, but probably the best review I did of the month. If you want to check a review out that will maybe make you laugh a little bit. Revival, I've been reading and reviewing every single Stephen King novel in order of publication on the channel. We are to Revival now, so we are nearing the end of the Stephen King books. <clears throat> I love British mysteries, and my favorite British mystery writer is Elizabeth George. I read Payment in Blood, book number two in her... Um, Inspector Lindley series. I love the Gray Man, Mark Greeny's Gray Man series. I read Gunmetal Gray. This is book number four, five, six, or maybe even seven in the series. I can't remember exactly which. Can't remember exactly where this fits in in the series, but it was a dope, dope book. Then I read uh, book number three in Stephen Donaldson's Thomas Covenant trilogy. This is the the um, power that preserves like this uh, Tom, Thomas Covenant is a great series and uh, Stephen R. Donaldson is a great writer stick that one there I read book number two in, Ga in uh, Daniel Silva's Gabriel Allon international thriller series and this is the English Assassin oh, this was a really good book I actually really really like this maybe the second favorite book I read this January. Then we read, um, these are falling down. We read a S Starman Jones by uh, Robert Heinlein. Old classic sci-fi. Then I read another Charles DeLint book. I read book number one in his New Ford series, and this is a whisper. What is it a whisper? From a whisper to a scream. So two Charles DeLint books this month i read walter mosley and this is book number five in his uh easy rollins mystery series i love the walter mosley mystery series great and then the last book that i read in january actually i was kind of reading this off and on throughout december and january so it's not really totally just a january book uh it took it took me a while to get through this book. It's <clears throat> and that was um, George R. R. Martin's Fire and Blood. So that's two George R. R. Martin books. We did Feast for Crows and Fire and Blood in January. And so that, my friends, is my January 2023 reading review. 24 books. It's just complete insanity. But hey, you know, whatever. February probably won't be that many books as 24 because it's a shorter month. There's only 28 days. It's got to be shorter. Can't be longer. There's just no fucking way. <laughs>